In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. An act of reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Most Holy Virgin and Our Mother, we listen with grief to the complaints of your Immaculate Heart surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitude of ungrateful humanity. We are moved by the ardent desire of loving you as our Mother and of promising a true devotion to your Immaculate Heart. We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we feel for the grievances that people cause you and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offenses with which they return your love. Obtain for them and for us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of sinners that they may love Jesus Christ and cease to offend the Lord, already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy toward us that we may love God with all our heart on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. An act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Mary, Virgin most powerful and Mother of mercy, Queen of heaven and refuge of sinners, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to you our very being and our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To you we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us and around us may belong to you and may share in the benefits of your motherly benediction, and that this act of consecration may be truly efficacious and lasting, we renew this day at your feet the promises of our baptism and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves to profess courageously and at all times the truths of our holy faith and to live as Catholics who are duly submissive to all the directions of the Pope and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and his Church, in particular to keep holy the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion and above all, Holy Communion, an integral part of our lives, insofar as we shall be able to do so. Finally, we promise you, O Glorious Mother of God and Loving Mother of all, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to your service, in order to hasten and assure, through the sovereignty of your Immaculate Heart, the coming of the kingdom of the Sacred Heart of your adorable Son in our own hearts and in the hearts of all, in our country and in all the world, as in heaven, so on earth. Amen.